In this video, we are going to evaluate the integral of sine squared of x times cosine cubed of x dx. So here we see a sine and a cosine, which is great because we know that they're the derivatives of each other times plus or minus 1. And we see that we have sine to an even power and cosine to an odd power, which is good because then we can try to use some of our trig identities. For example, recall that sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1. So if I have sine to an even power and cosine to an odd power, I'm going to want to rewrite this integral as the integral of sine squared of x times cosine squared of x times cosine of x dx. So all I've done here is break up x cubed into uh, or cosine cubed into cosine squared times cosine. Now, I see that <clears throat> cosine is the derivative of sine, and I see that I have a cosine squared. So I'm probably going to want to write this all in terms of sine. So I can use this trig identity to rewrite cosine squared of x as 1 minus sine squared of x. So now plugging this in, I get sine squared of x times cosine squared, which is 1 minus sine squared of x. And then I still have this cosine of x dx, but that's okay because now I'm going to do a u substitution where u is sine and then du is going to be cosine. So here I'm going to let u equal sine of x, so then du is cosine of x dx. Now I can just see cosine of x dx, cosine of x dx, so now I can plug things in. So I have the integral of sine squared, so that's u squared times 1 minus sine squared, which is u squared, and then cosine of x dx is just du. Now I can distribute the u squared. So I have u squared minus u to the fourth du, and I can break up this integral into the integral of u squared du minus the integral of u to the fourth du. Now I can integrate this, and I have u cubed over 3 minus u to the fifth over 5 plus c. And now I can't forget to plug in what u actually is. So this becomes sine cubed over 3 minus sine to the fifth over 5 plus c. And this is our final answer. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. And if there are problems you'd like to see solved, feel free to email them to ashmath1729 at gmail.com.